Hello, and welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. It's the podcast where I'm actually right, but we want to pander to the middle-aged white woman. This is my wife, Nona. The middle-aged white woman? Yeah. And you then turn your head and look directly at me. Yeah. So, wow, I feel old as fuck now. Thanks. Come, come towards me. They want to see you. They don't want to see me. This is where I always sit. No. And now you're going to make me move my mic again. You and fine. You think fine. So, Nona. Yes, Andrew. Did you hear what happened a couple of days ago? What happened a couple of days ago? Taylor Swift. T Swift. Oh. Dropped a new album. Yes. What do you think about it? Have you heard any of it yet? So, Charlotte considers herself to be a Swifty. She's the only of the four who. Charlotte is the youngest daughter, for those that don't know. The youngest daughter. So when I took the littles to the beach the other day, I did put it on. And about two songs in, she had me turn it off and said, Meh. Were they just, you just picked the wrong songs? Or, because there's two albums, right? How many songs are there total? I have no idea. We only got two songs in. We, pl we played uh, Fortnite, which is the um, collaboration with Post Malone. Okay. And then the next one, which I don't even remember, came on after that. and. She was... didn't even get halfway through that one. I was just like, eh. So she's not really a Swifty. And aren't they, isn't a requirement of being a Swifty to be <laughs> obsessed? A dial. You have, to, you have to find a reason to like every song. You can't have, you can't I, have I, any song that you don't like. I don't, I don't think that's true. I think you can definitely still be a Swifty and say, hey, I appreciate what you've done, but I prefer X, Y, and Z. What do you think of, uh, there's, I guess there's a song. I've got some notes here. Okay. There's a song called Thank You, Amy. And people have selectively picked out letters, the K in thank and the I-M in Amy, and they're saying it's a diss track against Kim Kardashian. <laughs> okay. Do you know the history there? No, I have fucking no idea. Okay, so it goes back to actually Kanye West. Uh, getting up on stage at one of the award shows Remember, and taking the award I'm you, from. I'll let you finish, but first, I'm just demonstrating that I know what you're talking about. That's what he did, right? And... Uh, essentially, yeah. and said Beyonce deserved it much more than she did, at, and blah, blah, blah. And this was before Kanye and Kim even got together. But then, apparently, there was some drama maybe three or four years ago regarding uh, Kim coming into the picture, marrying Kanye, and um, there's supposedly a phone call that was recorded between either Taylor Swift and Kanye or Kim and Kanye, I'm not really sure, potentially apologizing for... For the stage issue? Yes, but then Kanye came out with a song. Does Taylor with have a song? Pardon? Does Taylor have a song? Does she have anything making fun of it? I have no idea. I'm not a Swifty, so I don't follow. Did you know? I, I don't I don't know that much about Post Malone. I know he's pretty fucking good at making music, but I yes. don't really listen to his music. Okay. But apparently, he's like one of the most well-liked people. Like, Just an all-around good guy? Yeah. He, I don't know the other guy. It's like Char Char Charlemagne or something like that has like some radio show and had him on and was like talking shit about him early on and he like sat there and took it and people were like dude the the dude the radio host they're like dude he's a piece of shit and like he just like took it in stride and then i guess he went back on another time or something and and the same kind of thing happened he invited him back on under the the guise that he was like oh, okay now you're in the industry you know you've broken in you're like the next eminem or I'm making some of this shit up, but okay. Um, same thing happened though, but like worse. And even the other co-hosts, staff, whatever on his show, were like, dude, you're being kind of a fucking dick. And apparently, sounds like a personal vendetta. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> apparently, people like love Post Malone for it. Okay. But he's, I had no idea. He he uh, like blends genres, right? Like he kind of can mm -hmm. do everything. Yeah, yeah. He can dabble in a little bit of everything, I would say. 
overall, he's probably on the more pop sector okay. and then deviates from that. Okay. Like I said, I don't really listen to his music. I don't, I don't either. But I've heard his music. So a lot of it I didn't know was his music. Mm -hmm. And then... You know, because like, it's a, co a collaboration with somebody else? No, or... just like there's been times when we've had like a barbecue or something like that and I've just put on something and it's like gone into a song. I'm like, oh, it's kind of, sounds like a good song. I'll add it to like our arty playlist. I'll look at it as post post. <laughs> Never would have thought, but okay. okay, cool. So not music that I listen to very often because party playlist because we have so many parties well, well it's it's the playlist for when you're like don't put on your music put on music we can all agree with okay that playlist yeah because i listen to heavy metal rock metalcore hardcore yeah very very heavy music i think we talked about this in the episode mm -hmm. so anyways back to the back to Taylor. Okay. Taylor. Yeah. And Kim. Yeah. I honestly, I don't know the true drama between her and Kim because it's really Kanye and Kim's divorced from Kanye now. So I, I don't see why there would be any what, kind of what, what rift would, still. What would you assume her political affiliation is? Taylor Swift or yeah. Kim Taylor, Kardashian? Taylor Swift. Hmm. Isn't she born and bred in Nashville, Tennessee? That, I don't feel like that means anything. There's, some people find their allegiances despite how they grew up. So. Mm. so off the bat, you might assume probably rightly, maybe libertarian. I don't know. But I'm, I'm just asking because I don't know. I don't listen. I don't know people, either. So. But. So the reason I'm asking is because Kim and her family are more liberal left-leaning correct honestly that's the impression i get and but then you got kanye who's, yeah he started, I, I, he started left uh, He's do you honestly think any of the kardashians have ever even voted so we can look up their voting history uh, i'm mm, sure they have i'm sure they have they're in california though aren't they so yeah they are i mm, the only the only I would, I would purpose. say at least up until probably 2010, they were on the more conservative side. Okay. And then maybe it's changed since then for the Kardashians and possibly the same for Taylor Swift. Well, I'm just curious. She's the same age as me, so uh, she's only had a couple of years to vote. So maybe, what, three elections? Who's her dad? Isn't her dad famous? I don't think so. Why do I think her dad was... No, it was Miley Cyrus, her dad. Yeah, Miley yeah, Cyrus's dad is famous. I mean, Taylor Swift's dad could have been in the music industry, but I he, he's definitely not like Billy Ray and not a musical artist. How did, how did Taylor it. Swift get famous? Uh, a Mickey Mouse Club person? No, too. not a Mickey Mouse Club person. I don't know the full story there either. I do know that it started acoustic guitar and her singing solo. And whether it was her parents putting into her, like contests and getting that way or YouTube videos, I'm not really sure. I know it was Bieber who did YouTube videos and that's how he was discovered. I thought he was Mickey Mouse. Mm -mm, no. Are you sure? Yeah, Mickey Mouse was um, pretty much anybody in like the late 30s to early 40s, like Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears. Um, they were all making Mouse Club. I guess where Bieber was famous before YouTube was even a thing. Because I no, swear he was already. I swear famous. that's how he was discovered. And I and I never saw him because I wasn't a YouTube kid. Have you seen the way he looks now? No. Um, I know like, like a crackhead. Yeah, I've I've heard things have gone a little south for him mental wise. Like his mental health is he, not. He legit looks like, like, he if if you were to. If, if you were to tell people that Pokemon was like this cool, you know, really nice guy, and then you saw like all his tattoos and stuff like that, and you're like, okay, he clearly was never attractive to begin with. And now he's and the, like, I mean, come on, let's be serious. He's not exactly, he's not exactly Ryan Reynolds, right? Okay. <laughs> so he just embraced it. Like he's not, 
he he found his way into women's pants. Actually, I think he has, his girlfriend is like really long term. I think that's what I learned from. Oh my god, way into women's that, pants. That, that was that was one of the things that uh, they were they were digging at him on, um, on that show. They were talking shit about his girlfriend, and and she was there. Oh my god, how rude! Yeah. And then they were like, "Oh, you could find something better. You're famous." And then like with her there, and then. He was like, no, I'm, you know, I'm loyal. I love my girl. And then the the dudes were like, oh, he's going to be out touring and he's going to cheat on you. Like, you, what the fuck? In the industry, you can't trust. Like, yeah, right. I mean, yes, that is what happens in the industry. But what the fuck? Yeah. So, you know, he, he found his girl. I guess they're happy. I don't know. I don't know shit about him. Yeah, Maybe I don't know. They could, be, they could be like a politician who they're just in a relationship for a stability. You know, having a family as a politician is basically just a facade. You know, none of them are ever going to get divorced because they all want right. to, you know, who knows what they want to appear to voters yeah. as a, yeah. a solid force. So, um, that's, that's all to say, like Bieber was like a heartthrob for girls when we were growing up. He was like, I wouldn't even say when we were growing up because he became famous when you and I were already out of high school or getting out of high school I sworn i knew who he was when he was when we were well born. but see you were a youtube kid and i wasn't but youtube didn't come out youtube didn't wasn't founded until i graduated in high school what and that was a dating site at the time what yeah, yeah. youtube was started all right YouTube now I, can i can i search it real yeah. quick i have to know but i swear he was discovered YouTube was youtube was founded in 2006 by three all right how am i how am i even gonna search were, this i think there were a paper. how was justin bieber discovered so i'm pretty sure that the if i remember right the three dudes that founded youtube worked at paypal and they they founded it as a video dating site and then it became yes Discovered on YouTube in 2009. So we were, we were all, I, t I knew it. We were already out of high school oh, when he was, <laughs> right. Yeah. And so he didn't, didn't become a teen heartthrob or whatever until you and I, like I was already married and pregnant with my first kid at this point. So he, it was like so he's, not on my he's radar very, at all. He's one of the very few early YouTubers who not only found success on early YouTube, but also... Usher had a star search on YouTube. And so I guess it was a contest or something within the YouTube com uh, community gotcha. founded by Usher and Scooter Braun is who signed him. And Scooter Braun is oh. who um, found Taylor Swift also. And they had a huge issue and she had to like redo all of her music because he owned it all and oh I so I, the, yeah yeah you you do know well, about this stuff she, so first of all that was her and her manager or her i think she doesn't she manage herself or something now but because she left that's, scooter that's her fault though. like she didn't read the contract she was also a minor is the problem so her, so her parents, parents yeah, didn't take yeah, care of yeah. her so right yeah so re-recording all of the music to re-release it. I and mean, that's yeah. that's better than remastering. Totally. You're, you're doing it anyways because they tour and sing the same songs over and over again. Right, right. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah, so there's somebody's gonna shut that down at some point. Somebody's gonna shut that loophole down. Because that the loophole of being able to re just re record. Yeah. Because there were there were in recent years that's become a big thing. Sell your entire back catalog of music to a label for a big chunk of money and they do whatever the fuck they want with it. You have no say anymore. Okay. And then, but your future music, you can continue whatever you want to do, but your existing songs they own now. That's, that's been a big thing in the last two or three years. I, I've known about this. I don't know who all has done it, but I know. She's the only one that I've heard of doing it. I just, I don't, you I don't know a lot of rather, musical artists, honestly. Rather, rather than having to bank on performing shows on those same songs over and over again mm -hmm. for them to continue making you money streaming people buying albums and right. stuff, or whatever you just sell it for one time lump sum and then let the record label figure out how they're going to profit off mm -hmm. that's their problem now so i mean in some ways 
it's probably beneficial to the artist because they may or may not actually have the vocal capacity to perform in the future. It's, you know, it's the easy way out, uh, you know, um, take your money now, invest, let your money grow for you. Other people's money, once again, that's really what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. You can either hope that you will always have a career and you will always do good, or you can cash out now and that's it. So anyways, I don't know shit about fuck. So let's go ahead and move on. That's your that. next shirt, by the way. Yeah. I don't know shit about fuck. I'm sure for someone probably already has that, but I can make a cool design for it. Or I have some nails made. Yeah, I'm still waiting on we put up uh, Freedom Boner so shirt. Actually, we're 15 minutes in. So this show is presented by LeMaxMedia.com, the technology center, America's technology center of excellence. You keep forgetting about America, your favorite. Yeah. And, well, so all of the military installations are blah, 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 center of excellence. So I'm just, I'm adding America's center, America to the front end of it, making okay. it, making it my own, yeah. re-recording it for my own personal gain. Okay. And NonaPhelps.com for all of your insurance needs in North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida. If you want a referral on another state, she could probably do that. She might know somebody or somebody will know somebody. We'll see. My network is really small, so we'll see. You can't tell the form on her website anyway, so you can capture your information and be part of you <laughs> and your family members. Um, so. So. We have a board meeting tonight and you won't be here for that. Yeah, I'll be at soccer. Like every single better Tuesday. Wiki, better on wiki.org. Don't make a donation. Um, so, okay, coming back to the website stuff. As of yesterday. Mm, okay. As of. April 22nd was yesterday? Yes. We're recording on the 23rd. This will come out on the 25th. Mm -hmm. Um, There is now a one-episode shout-out where you can contribute a dollar amount between $10 and $250. Ooh. And Nona will read your shout-out on a future episode. Only me. Yeah. All okay. of the information is there. Uh, yeah. We're not going to do it for businesses. We're not going to shout-out your business. You can sponsor us if you want us to shout out your business. Um, fine prints there. We're not going to shout out your business, so don't even do it. If you make a contribution, that's non-refundable. So don't come at me and be like, you didn't say my business name. Well, should have read. It's all there. It's uh, There's a tile on the homepage to support us. You can go to that, click, pay any dollar amount. You can do increments of $1 over 10 so you can do $10, you can do $11, you can do $249, and everything in between. And you will get a shout out in one ups. There will be other. By me. Yeah. There will be other additional products where there'll be multi episode or all that good stuff. Or just not doing that yet. Okay. I had to, you know, my clients that pay me money take priority over my projects that make no money. So. Like your website, Coastal Carolina University's sites, JT Music. And actually, they're getting ready to do for Nerdcore Party Convention, their big their big music convention that they do with all these YouTubers every year. On May 7th, I believe, we're launching the page for it. They're doing a, like a talent search thing. It's like 16 bars, I guess is what we call it. He just sent me the information yesterday and asked me if I could get on Mason. Okay. Congratulations to your clients. Hopefully they find somebody and, fabulous. And if you're if you're into that kind of music, hip hop, rap, country, whatever else about video games and pop culture, uh there That's a huge variety. Yeah, their event is in Raleigh again for the second year in a row. July, I believe. NerdcorePartyCon.com dot com is where you can find the information on that if you're into that. Yeah. yeah. The website was fun. It's all like retro arcade, 8 bit. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> so, now that we've talked about all of that stuff mm -hmm. and how people can support us monetarily. Yes. Webs or er, t shirts, designs, and stuff coming in the future. I have talked to Chuck about that already. Mm -hmm. You can do print on demand for us. Mm -hmm. print on demand ship i don't know what the timeline and stuff like that we'll look for that but we'll probably do like a run 
and a men's cut and a women's cut, and we'll model them for you. I'm still waiting on the Freedom Boner shirt. So we'll model them for you. And then you'll be able to say, you know what? Nona looks really good <laughs> in that women's cut. But I got this beer belly. Squeeze into <laughs> it. Andrew doesn't look quite as good in his shirt. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I'll, okay. maybe, maybe I'll Photoshop it onto some famous people and make it look like Andrew. Oh, my so, God. So. Did you see... The Zucker beard picture. I did. What do you think? Um, Everything's, there's a, a scale of people responding to it from, yeah, beards really are makeup for men to, he looks like a complete total white trash fuck boy. He's and, like, he's and the curls and the chain and. Well, I also don't believe that it's. You don't think it's really him? I think it's been, it's been retouched. It's been added to it's i'm sure i'm sure some i'm sure he's still pasty and baby faced i'm sure some paparazzi person has captured a picture of him but yes the beard is makeup for men oh. yeah oh, yes. mm -hmm. yeah my beard hair is getting pretty long did you know that men use rogaine in their beard to That's add to it no I'm going to go into if that's what you're asking. Some utility trope is here. Can that's you, what she's can, looking at. Can you pause it? You expect them to come here? Can you pause it? No. no unless they're coming here. We can see. I don't know. The dogs are, the dogs are locked up in their dungeon. They're good. Summer movies. What are you looking forward to? The Deadpool Let's Fucking Go trailer came out yesterday. Okay. Yes. You made me watch it. You like the you like the cocaine riff at the end? Oh yeah, uh, blind grandma. Yeah. No, oh, her name's Blind Al. I don't know what her name is. I just said blind grandma because that's what she looks like. Well, she's blind. Her name's Blind Al. <laughs> Al. It's like a man's name. It's really short for something. I haven't read comic books since I was a child, so the whole I know a lot of it, but I don't. Okay. A lot of characters that um. They reproduce, uh, what do you call it? When you take something and you're like creative freedom with it. Mm -hmm. You're not necessarily staying true to it, but you're adapting it in a way that makes sense for that. Like for, for movies, you know, they, a lot of times they'll take multiple characters and they'll combine them in some way. They'll, they'll still use one or the other's name, but they combine like their powers or they're, All of this is going over my head. Sure. They, every, every genre does this. It's not just comic books. Every book, okay. you know, film adaptations of books and things like that. You know, they have weird things that they want to do. They're like, you know what? Story's really, really good, but it would make more money if we had some, took some creative liberties and, you know, rather mm -hmm. than, the murderer breaking in and just stabbing people in their sleep. You need to add calm. Somebody wakes up. There's a big fight in the kitchen. Grabs a knife. Stabs him a couple of times. Right. Runs off. Nearly gets caught by the police. Nobody ever caught him. Mm -hmm. But the real story is the door was unlocked. He walked in, stabbed him in their bed, and walked out. Right. So, same thing for comics. They want to make it more interesting. There's people that get upset about it. There's people that are like, yeah, that character sucked in the comic books, but that's cool. So the character that's supposed to be the big bad, there's supposedly there's going to be two. One of them is uh, Owen Wilson's uh, clone, which is the British guy that I said I didn't realize he was British from, because uh, I know him from Succession. That's all I'd ever seen him in until the Mercedes Benz commercial. And then the Deadpool trailer. The, okay. guy, the guy working in TVA, the tall guy. Yeah, you, you heard him. He was the only British person. So his name is Paradox. Okay. And he's a, in the comics, he's a clone of Owen Wilson's character. Okay. Who knows if that's going to be true in the movie. Owen Wilson's not going to be in the movie. But it's still going to be the TVA. Loki's probably going to come back again. That's speculation is that this is all to destroy everything that Loki did to fix the universe. And he's just going to break it all again. Who knows? But the other... 
the the character that they're advertising as being the evil character is Professor Xavier's twin that he tried to kill in the womb, or that tried to kill him, and he ended up killing his. That's who you see when you see Logan being controlled and like stabbing. That's her. Yeah. That's Professor X's twin. Okay. Yeah. So, people that are listening to this are probably like, how the fuck does how does he know this shit? Or they're like me and okay. So you're just Did going. You're just going to watch Ryan Reynolds look ugly because it's the only time that he looks ugly to women. No, <laughs> I'm going to support you because I know you are very excited this about morning, this movie. This morning, the kids and I were talking about it, and they were all like, yeah, we love it, we love it. Mom loves it, too. So they have you pinned as loving Deadpool, and I didn't say anything because I wanted to say it here, and you can have the conversation with them later. That's funny because I have never said that and, I love it. And I, so... The thing that I really hope for, so the, the version of Deadpool 2 that we have is not the theatrical release. It's like, it's not a director's cut, but it's like a more R cut. It's closer to NC-17. And some of the jokes are raunchier. And then the fight with uh, Juggernaut when he's saying, oh, shit, balls, oh, fucking shit, balls. It's been a long time since I've seen it. In the original, in the theatrical version, it's uh, Here Comes the Juggernaut or something like that. And that's what they're saying over and over again. But the version that we have, the saying is, holy shit balls, oh fucking shit balls. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to keep saying okay. It's all going over my head. The the only character that they're not sure if he brought back was Vanisher, which is Ben Affleck, or not Ben Affleck. um, What's his name? He he made his, his whole cameo as he's invisible, and he grabbed the power line as they were parachuting. And then you saw his face. He's another. I don't remember. Not Ben Affleck. He's the same. Like he was in Inglorious Bastards and Brad Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt. You're just gonna blur so all the old guys together. They're not sure if he's because he's invisible normally. Right. So they're like they brought everybody else back. Is he gonna make another cameo? Okay. So we'll see if he's gonna be at the birthday party. That's what the beginning is. That's when he gets picked up by the TVA. What? It's it's his birthday party. That's, okay. That's where he's. That's where uh, he makes the joke about Kevin Feige saying they're not allowed to talk about cocaine while they talk about cocaine. Okay. Anywho. Anyway. Are there any other movies that you and or the children are looking forward to? I have no idea of what movies are coming out this year is at there, all. Is there a show that you're looking forward? To? No. no. Nothing. So 2024 is the year of Deadpool and nothing else. I'm to you. For, I'm here for it. <laughs> to you. I'll watch it I'll watch it once or twice. Once or the 75 times. Nah, the theater's too damn expensive now. No, you're gonna go once in the theater and then yeah. as soon as you can yeah. not download it illegally, yeah. then yeah. you'll not download it illegally the kids were actually talking about pirating this morning i did not bring it up cooper was like what if you buy a video game and then they do this and do that i guess that would make pirating legal right and i was like absolutely <laughs> it is like there's no reason to have to buy the same thing that you already own over and over again Very oh true. we're gonna shut down the servers and so you can't play your game anymore sorry but there's a new version for the new thing buy it again for the same price Whack. This is why the Did whole... you say whack? Yeah. I haven't heard <laughs> anybody say that since middle school. Oh, no. Whack. You've heard it before. Not since middle school, I haven't. Sure. This I is whack. It. Yeah. So. Or I thought something. Nothing happened. Have you seen, uh, I saw, I saw people making fun of the other guy that lit himself on fire the other day. Have you seen the conspiracy theory behind it? No, but I watched, like, so he, uh, apparently he was an early YouTuber. He never, like, was famous, but people dug up a channel that his friends had made, and it was just a bunch of, like, weird pranks and stuff like that. And it's funny because in the video of him sitting in his car, he looks closer, like, six foot. Mm-hmm. If you watch these videos, he's probably all, like, five, six. He's kind of a small guy. But um, they're saying that he's like the opposite of the other Aaron, whatever, 
is that Aaron dude was like pro Palestine, uh, a liberal communist, and this guy's like hyper right wing. So they're it's getting weird out there. Don't say yourself. It is fire. getting weird out there, indeed. They're uh, they're totaling up how many how many Burning Man conventions. What what do you call that? Con- it's is it a concert? I believe it is a concert. Burning Man. But for real. Do you want to know what the conspiracy theory is behind this kid? He's psychotic. I I know that. And his mom just died. So, did you see about Bernie Sanders? I saw that he donated to him. He donated to Act Blue. Did you see that Bernie Sanders was just accused of R-A-P-I-N-G-ing? R A P R yes R A P I N G. What did I say? R I. Oh, sorry. I was trying to spell it so that way. Oh, I feel really stupid now. Um, so that way. It... Bad touch. Just say bad touch. Oh uh, yeah. I, I don't know what the like. How to yeah. Thirty years ago. Him specifically. Well, somebody on Twitter accused him. Okay. And it's gone down a rabbit hole. This was two two days ago. It's gone down a rabbit hole that potentially, and I don't think that it is, it just happens to line up this kid, and I say kid because I don't even know how old he is. He was already just, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I think he was like 37. And the idea is if it happened 30 years ago, he would have been seven years old. Okay. Uh, I don't think that it is. I think it's just pure coincidence, but that's where people are going. Did he live? I have no idea. So the story with Bernie Sanders, do you know the story? No. At all? No. Well, I mean, it's fucked up. I don't follow this either. It literally just came out. It's like breaking news. Um, that he was blackmailed on camera. Bernie was or the kid was? Bernie was with his whole family in the basement. And he was forced to bad touch a small child on camera so that they, the operative they, could hold it against him for the rest of his life. And... The kid, who this supposedly happened to, is who has come forward now, 30 years later. And basically say that he's never seen a grown man cry like that before. But he was... I mean... I don't believe until I say video. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like, I want, I want to, of course, support any victim, but, um. I don't know, too many, too many people are abusing that system to the point where real victims are getting the justice that they deserve, so, I'm just, I'm to- I don't know, government is totally fucked, though, and I could totally see a blackmail situation in every regard. I'm going to hold this over you for the rest of your life, and you are going to be our pawn. I'm going to put your face on the uh, Bernie Sanders meme. I'm once again asking to subscribe to our YouTube channel. What? (laughs) Now I'm just picturing him on, what was it, Inauguration Day? With his... With his... Like, like, now there's like a whole theory behind that too like crossing of the arms and crossing of the legs it was him like i don't know the whole thing is is it's it's spiraling my my brain hole i told you that i woke up at like three o'clock this morning i went down a you know, deep need, rabbit hole <laughs> what we need for the entire medical system to just have complete and utter fucking failure so that these 90-year-old fucking politicians just die off instead of living forever. Mm, it's more than that, though. The, yeah, they need, term there's a, they need term limits, but it'd be faster if they just died off. 
because they're the ones that have to fucking vote for it. Mm. We can't do anything about it. Okay. We need them voted out, but we can't. Yeah, we but but I'm saying it, it at this point, they have so many systems in place that even if they're voted out, there's somebody there to step in and fulfill. Yeah, they have proxy votes, but that's not for very long. Your position. No, I'm not talking about proxy votes. I mean, people who they want, they being the operative they, to fulfill their what what swinging of. Right. So anyways, whatever. They're all lizards. Sure, lizard people. Yeah. And now we sound like conspiracy. Yeah, they're all so doped up and drugged up and pumped full of Adderall and everything else. Says the man on Adderall. Yeah, but I don't want the goddamn corpse. <laughs> Biden fucking shits his pants every time he fucks <laughs> walks around. Uh, I love the uh, AI images of Trump in the... They're, people are trying to pass them off like they're real. But he, I don't know anything about those. They're, they're like courtroom images that people are trying to pass off like they're real. They're, they look pretty convincing, but you can you can always tell an AI image. Well, it starts on Thursday. No, it's they're the... five days into it. You're probably maybe you're thinking of a different trial. The hush money trial is going on right now as we speak. It I'm was... talking about the one in at the Supreme Court starts on Thursday. I don't know anything about him having a trial in the Supreme Court. Is the hush money trial is going on right now as we speak? Or... Day five or six. Mm. Yeah. But the the images are fucking hilarious. They've they've aged him even more. The like distress of the trials really getting to him. And he like looks like he's bearing down and shitting his pants in the courtroom. And there was something trending about him farting in court or something. As if okay. as if people don't fart normally in court. Like maybe you hold it in or you got like a quiet fart, but I don't why. I mean, it's kind of funny that, yeah, a politician did it in like a major publicized trial, but for it to be trending, it's kind of weird. Anyways, the, the videos and, and all that, the pictures and stuff are, are pretty funny. Do you remember jib jab? No. The, they, they did like the, like the heads that like come apart and there was like politicians that I did one about it was on E-Bomb's World and like early YouTube days and stuff they did like parody songs with like politicians and they were like they were like puppets kind of but with like the Canadian and like South Park how they had the head like separate when they fought oh my god I have no idea what you're talking about look but up, now I'm now I'm looking up look Trump's up, trial look up Jib Jab uh, um Bush and uh, was it John Kerry? Is that his name? Yeah. There's the shit's the shit's fucking hilarious. While you're looking that up, uh, going on like 38 minutes now in the actual episode length. Um, what you got? What you got? Yeah, no, I was just looking at the Supreme Court trial. Uh, well, scheduled actually, session is actually one that he has to appear. April 25th. Yeah, I, that's what I said. I fucking knew it. Well, what's, you always one is going. No, oh my god, I, I wasn't. I wasn't looking up what's going on right now. I just I know there's one that's happening on Thursday because Cooper will be there, and yeah, I was. It'll probably get continued. Okay, I don't know. So I don't remember why I put exploding people on. Oh, because of the thing yesterday morning. Exploding people. What? Yeah, the uh, the pedestrian that was hit by a oh, car yesterday. Yeah. So, I was wondering if you've ever seen anything like that. If you've seen somebody turn into pink mist or baloney <laughs> mist, as some people call it. No. Ever seen? No. I've seen a deer get hit by a cement truck when I was in like elementary school. I know you talk about it all the time. It was like the highlight of your childhood. It's goes to show what kind of person he is <laughs> it was pretty cool i mean yeah and you aim to see that again in real life i'm sure and actually so. so the the kid that was riding with me to school mm -hmm. my neighbor that's the same one that i told you his dad just died the other way so 
Adam, sorry for your loss. I know you're not watching this, but I don't live in the U.S. anymore. I'm pretty sure he's back. Aaron said he was back for the funeral or whatever they're doing for him. He's the one that I walked over and I talked to you mm -hmm. when we were vacationing up there a year and a half ago. Vacationing. That's not how I would put it. Blizzarding. Stuck in a blizzard. Um, then what else did I put on here? There's a pink moon, full moon. Is that out of interest to you? No? I don't care. I mean, News to you. when is it? This week. It was yeah, that'll... Today. Oh, really? That'll explain That'll explain why I haven't been sleeping. I swear, the week of a full moon, I never sleep. Every single month. Okay. And every single month I say that to you. I know. And I'm like, let me guess, the full moon is tomorrow or it's today or something to like that because I haven't slept in two days me, or whatever. It doesn't make any sense to me, but it happens every single month that I don't sleep to me, the it's week the same of, thing as people that believe in Zodiac. So. But I literally, I don't even look at the calendar. I don't know that it's a is full it, moon. It just happened. If you were having your periods, would it be approximately around what you would normally have? Your no, period? it has nothing to do with that. Okay. I'm just asking. It's like my body thinks it's the sun rising instead of it's the moon. I don't know. I don't know any other way to explain it. But I always wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning. The week of uh, the full moon. So I'll have no problem taking the children to school at 4.45 tomorrow morning to get on the bus to go to D.C. Hooray. Yay. So you get to sleep in. No. I have to wake up the exact same thing I always do. I meant not getting up at 4.45. You didn't have any problem with it. You're the one that changed it up. So I volunteered. You unvolunteered me. Just makes more sense since I have to do two of them. Okay. Anyway. Last thing that I had on here were uh, terrible youth sports. Well, you hate soccer, so everything to you in the soccer world is just terrible. Well, okay. There's, there's a difference between putting your kids into a sport so that they like learn the fundamentals and have fun exercise and do things that they wouldn't otherwise do and get them exposure to these things so that they learn teamwork and sportsmanship and all that kind of shit and the coach doing absolutely fuck all standing on the sideline not even talking to the kids the other team's coaches cheering on the kids from our team as our team gets absolutely destroyed good job so our kids have white jerseys so good job white because they don't know the kids names right. good job white number four good job white number 10 good job good job meanwhile our coaches oh i know it just came to me the coach from water boy i can't think uh henry winkler's character <laughs> that's our fucking soccer coach <laughs> he's scared and intimidated by the other soccer dads and soccer coaches and he just did you he, did you hear him at the last game no. he walked up to the other coach at the end of the game and said you did a really good job coaching or something like that i could hear him all the way across the no, field I was, I was carrying the chairs and stuff back to the couch yeah. so no i didn't hear anything yeah and i was like maybe take a lesson from his playbook say one thing two things yeah anything did you, did you see did you I, you missed like half the goals because you were just zoned out at one point talking to your mom and Chloe. I'm so sorry. My mom showed up. I, I had know, to say hello. I know, but, but I'm saying like you missed several of the other team's goals. Yeah. I, did, did you see or pay any attention to how frequently they were so? I They didn't... were every time the ball went out of bounds, they were subbing in fresh legs hmm. every single time. Meanwhile, we, we had no subs. We had one extra person. I had two, but they were subbing somebody in every time. So they had fresh legs on the field. So we had several players that never even came off the field. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they had fresh legs in nearly every position. Every time there was any sort of whistle. And I, I don't know all the rules to soccer with how frequently the coach to last sub, week did too. Not like this though. Not mm -hmm. like this. Every time they were subbing people, I was looking to our side like, hey, hey, 
maybe take a hint. He's getting fresh legs out there because he sees his players getting tired. You've got a guy that's been on sidelines for 10 minutes and now he's bored. Going like this because coach will put him back in the game. Staring at the fence, kicking the fence behind him, not even watching the game because coach is just standing there. Mm -hmm. You gonna put them on the same team next year? No. But I, I only did it this one time just to give it a try and Charlotte does not like soccer. No, no, That's I didn't okay. mean I didn't mean the two of them together on the same team. I, I'm saying, would you put them on? The oh same God, team? no, no. Did you get to you? Did you get to pick, or was it just location? Um, so I didn't know any of the coaches at this new location. Okay. Um, so I didn't put anything down as a preference, and I still don't know any coaches that I can say not the one we had this year. Right. But that's about it. I don't even know his fucking name. He's never introduced himself ever. Productive. Mm hmm. At least he's not busting can of biscuits this year. That's a good thing. Oh, God. He's a terrible human being. He's making fun of Charlotte's first soccer coach. Maybe look in the mirror when you put your clothes on. Anyways. Compression isn't for everybody. Anyways. Anyways. Is there anything else we should talk about? Go give us money. <laughs> Actually, I have a proposal going out this week. Some sponsors. Oh, yeah? We'll see how that goes. What sponsors? Are you allowed to say? I'm not going to say anything because I'm not going to give them anything until they give us money. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're just, they're just ones that I might potentially have an in with with. Some of the people that I know, okay. some that they've used, some that obviously primarily I've only gone after the ones that yeah. aren't blatantly just fraud and scams and mm -hmm. information stealing and shit like that. We'll see. Do you think, do you think your dress people would sponsor us? No way in hell. Why? And, I, and I'm still spelling... This ripping is... in my head. Yeah. I can't believe that I fucking spelled it wrong. Bad pun. Who sang that song? I don't know. I'd, I'd never heard it until right now. Bad Touch? You know the song. You just didn't know that that's the name. I'm going to play it for you when this is over because I can't play it on here. We'll get copyright strike. I've never heard Bad yes, you Touch. Have. Yes, you have. I promise you. Speaking of songs and going back to what we were talking about earlier... Okay. I did see that Diddy put out a it's all false allegations. Everybody's coming out of the woodworks, blah, blah, blah. No, apparently he's like the Epstein of the rap world. And the FBI has been watching him for a really long time. So not much right now. That's what I say. This is going to be an interesting year watching the downfall of all the Everybody. small human touchers. Everybody on the left, basically. Would you say that today yeah. was it? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Overwhelmingly, that's their demographic, and they're the ones that are... I was specifically talking about Diddy, just like Kanye is kind of an outlier on that. Did you see that now people are trying to guilt trip the U.S. about uh, dropping the nukes on Japan. They're no. Yeah, now we're uh, we're evil. We're the bad guys of World War Two now. Okay. It's mostly been it's mostly been it's been engagement bait from a lot of accounts, I believe, because there are accounts that I would have never thought would be dumb to say that. Because it honestly, yeah, because we just came up with that idea completely out of the blue. It, it saved projected, obviously, it saved potentially millions of lives mm -hmm. because we could have had a full-blown land invasion right. or we could have laid siege to the island indefinitely until they were out of food and water and supplies and just everybody started dying of, you know, they don't have any natural resources. They don't have any way to do anything without outside support. So we could have just blockaded indefinitely until they just started dying. 
and there was nothing they could have done about it. So dropping the two nuclear bombs was kind of a mercy thing. We, it seems kind of weird to think we actually had planned on four and the first two, the way that we're taught in history, it seems like they were like, bam, bam, mm -hmm. but they were like two days apart. Mm -hmm. People in Japan didn't even believe that the first one happened mm -hmm. and the emperor did not was like, no, I'm not going to surrender. We're still, we're still winning. So we're like, okay, here's one more. And yeah. So we're the bad guys now because of that. Interdusting. Yep. So I had no idea. They're like, who, who drops nuclear bombs on innocent people? Uh, who attacks Pearl Harbor? We weren't even in a conflict with you. Right. You, you fucking angered the anthill. You could have just left us alone. We would have probably left you alone. And, and then you turned it into now we rule your country for you. They still don't have a military. They have a militarized police force, but they do uh, not have the military. We are their military. Okay. That's That was part of the... The agreement. Yep. So, yeah. As everybody says. Germany also, right? We didn't do Germany. No, no, no. I no, meant Germany. that's part of the agreement that they can't. Um, it was, but they have military. I don't like know. recently? I don't know how long it's been. I think since probably the Berlin Wall fell time frame. Okay. I don't know for sure. That's my... I don't either, but yeah, I that sounds about right. Because they, I was watching something. They were talking about Russia, Ukraine, and how Russia's probably going to basically go back after the Baltic states and Belarus and some of the other former Soviet states, once they finish taking over Ukraine, they'll probably just steamroll all the other ones because they're, some of them are members of the UN and not part of NATO or part of NATO, but not part of, I don't remember. I think it's not part of NATO, but are part of the, or not, I'm sorry, part of the EU, but not part of the UN. And they were talking about the, um, financial backing from each like different thing. So if if it's only EU states, if the EU is like, oh, whatever, we don't want to have nuclear war, so we'll just let you have them. Like people in Germany, France, Italy, Spain, whatever. If they're like, well, it's not going to do anything to us, so fuck you guys, sorry. You're just part of Russia again now. They, they might do that. They don't want to sacrifice themselves for those which are partially allegiant to Russia to begin with. They have pretty large Russian, you call it, when you're like born there or like your fam your ancestors, whatever it's called. But they have a large population of ancestral Russians in a lot of those countries, which is, so they have people within the countries that are like, yeah, we want to we go back to Russia. We want to go back to Russia, but for whatever reason, they can't or financially, whatever they like where they are. So I completely zoned out that entire last three minutes of you talking. I saw your mouth moving and I wasn't listening to anything yeah, that you were saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds exactly like our normal day to day, only roles reversed. You nah. see my mouth move nah. and you don't listen. But yeah, I think I just fell asleep listening to you. Whatever. Whatever. You learn so much from me every day. For the audio audience, she's looking around the room, trying to think of something. I learned nothing. This has been another episode. Of Sleepy Time. Of He's Wrong, She's Wrong podcast. The number one most boring yeah. podcast. On all of YouTube and Spotify. Hashtag boring AF. And Amazon. And and everywhere else you can get your podcasts and bye goodbye i didn't have my stuff price so now we can bye